All right, everybody. Welcome back to the shed. It's been a few days, or a few days, a couple weeks. Got some progress done on it. We've got the wing saddle installed. Now got the floor installed, cockpit floor. It looks so plain. I went ahead and added a few little touches there with the gauges, just something a little different. You know, it looks so plain in there, I thought I'd do something. So I basically put in a few little gauges here and there. I got all the the ribs, or the formers, I'm sorry, installed up until 33. 33 and 34, if you remember, that's where there are 34 and 35. You remember, that's where the horizontal stabilizer will sit. And we've got our windows. We got our windows laid out on both sides. I'll be cutting some of those formers out and then I'll be putting our windows in. It turned out pretty good. I wish I would have had a jig, but I don't have one. So we did the best we could. Looks straight. I got some sanding to do on the inside to level out the floor. I'll paint, prime this and paint it all white. I got the front to install yet, but I'm holding off on that. I ordered the uh, the um, retracts a couple of days ago so they'll be here shortly but today is a good day because we got our engines finally came in the mail or not finally actually they ship pretty fast but we went with OS FL 70s now I don't know much about them Featherlight 70 four stroke edges I got two of them Bought them off of eBay, one for 190 and the other one for 220 They're a little bit bigger. Let me get one out for you here so you can take a peek. There's one of them. Sweet. Brand new in the box. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Get it over here where we can get see. There's one of them. Nice four stroke. Brand new in the box. There's one of them for one side. Came with the mufflers. There's a muffler for it. Let's get the other one out of the box. Here's the other one. There we go. That's what we're going to run it with right there. Two of those bad boys. New in the box. 190 for one and uh, 120 for the other one. I was like, the heck with it, I'm buying it. So one of them came with, there's like a cross pipe or something. Here's another muffler. We got all brand new factory glow plugs. One of them came with a engine mount. All the paperwork for both of them. So that is cool. They're slightly bigger than obviously the 40s that are supposed to be in it. Let me throw one up there take a peek at it up on the plans. You can see it. There's the plans. I might have to move back this N1 just a slight hair, but they're not they're not brutally bigger. A little bit maybe. They might stuff in there. But sweet. Good day today. So there's our two engines we're going to use. The 70s, I was on um, RC Universe talking to some people. What do the guys built? What are these that put 70s in it? And uh, he said it was overpowered, which I want it overpowered. And they're, they're light. They're, they are FL Feather Light, I'm assuming. I read a little bit about them online, I, not much. But that's what we got, brand new, in the box. Good day today, two of them. Whoops, sorry about that. Sweet. So, there's our engines. So today I'm just going to keep working on the other side. I'm hoping to get the windows cut out and put all the windows installed. Then I'll prime, re-sand the inside a little bit, get a little flush. I'll prime the inside of it and uh, paint it white. I'm going to hold off putting anything from the front here which is 10 
to one until I get the retracts. I'm not sure how how they're going to fit up inside of there. So after I get the windows cut on both sides, I'll put a couple of uh, planking boards across it, maybe three or four on each side, one or two, you know, a couple up on the top, a couple on the bottom, just to make sure it all stays square. Get it all sanded down nice, nice, and then I think I'm going to work on the center section of the wing. So I could just work on the center section of the wing, then I could... Uh, fake mount just the center section get the contour of the uh, the wing saddles get them all nice and uh, shaved down to where they gotta be and uh, go from there then after that I think I'm going to uh, finish the horizontal stabilizer get 34 and 35 put the hardwood block across it mount the stabilizer on top just to make sure everything's lined up right. I still got to cut the top of the spars that we got. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. I haven't been really had too much going on this week. My daughter, six-year-old daughter, broke her arm on spring break or whatever you want to call it. Winter recess for school, so I've been back and forth to the hospital two, three times dealing with that. Six-year-old breaking her arm. But that's where I've been for the last couple of days. But a good day today. We got our engines. So, like I said, I, they're brand new in the box. Never been touched. Never been fuel in them. And they are in nice shape. I love four strokes. So there's $400. What, $410 worth of, worth of engines. Free shipping. Bought them off of eBay. And uh, well, that's already got a plug in it for the back. Is that one? Yeah, both of them do. Nice. I don't think I've ever even owned a four-stroke engine before. Just love the way they sound. I got a guy online right now from RC University. He's going to sell me his brand new, never used synchronizer for seventy dollars. So I'm going to buy that off of him here in a little bit, and then we got to think about what radio I'm going to run on it. Probably going to go with eight channel, nine channel. I'm not sure how many channels I need at this point yet, but. Uh, I said just a little quick video to see see where we're at let you know I'm still working on it it's slowly approaching this 90 days that was quite a uh, <laughs> kind of a feat but we're gonna get at it we're gonna get at it here shortly but uh, there you go we got our power plant and we're just finishing up all the um, formers for the fuselage I'll sand everything down, get our windows installed. So the next video I'll make, I'll have all our windows in. Uh, I'll have the front. There's a piece that runs across here for the front uh, windshield. I probably won't have these done because, like I said, those retracts are coming. I don't know where they're coming from. Hong Kong, probably someplace. I don't remember. But they probably won't be here till the middle of the month. Then I'll push this off to the side and... Uh, I'm going to work on the center section of the wing so I could put the dowels in it and mock it up, uh, uh, you know, put it up in there, cut or contour for the, the way it's going to sit, and then I can go from there. All right, guys, well, there she is. There's our engines. We await our air up, air down retracts, and I'm going to get back to cutting some wood and uh, make an airplane. All right, if you got any comments, go ahead and leave them. And uh, we're building it. We're building it. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later.